All right, I'm going to draw a, a, a graph that you have not seen before. What is happening right there? Inflation rate and time. Okay, so actually let me put some numbers up. Inflation is, or deflation? Inflation. Right, inflation is happening right here. Okay, on, on, on this one right here. This is inflation. All right. But what is happening over here at this point in the, in the curve? What's happening? Well, think about it. The inflation rate at, let me draw it. The inflation rate at this time was 5%. The inflation rate a little bit later was just under 4%. The inflation rate is 5% and the inflation rate is just under 4%. What does that mean? Is there still inflation? What does that mean about average prices if inflation is 3% per year? Average prices are lower. If inflation is 3%, from 5%. if inflation has happened 3% this year compared to last year, what does that mean? Oh. Prices are three percent higher. Yeah. Prices are three percent higher this year than they were last year. So average prices have gone up or down. Up. Average prices have gone up by three percent. The year before, average prices went up by five percent. So that means that yes. that in twenty eighteen, if prices went up by five percent, and in twenty nineteen, prices went up by three percent. Did prices still go up in 2019 compared to 2018? Mm -hmm. Is that inflation or deflation? Inflation. Inflation. If prices went up from 2018 to 2019, prices went up by 3%. Did prices go up or down? Up. They went up. Is that inflation or deflation? Inflation. Inflation, because prices went up by 3%. But when we, when we look at this graph, the inflation rate is 5% in 2018, then 3% then or so in 2019, and then it goes back up to about 4% in 2020. So if that's the case, then this graph is showing us that even though we have a decreasing inflation rate, inflation is still happening. Prices are still going up each year. They went up by 5%, then they went up by 3%. Then they went up by 4%, but they went up every single year. That's inflation. If we look at the 5% to the 3%, that is disinflation. Okay. It's the fact that the inflation rate is dropping, but inflation is still happening. Remember how I said earlier that they were moving the curve? They were either speeding it up or slowing it down. That's what this is. At 5%, they realized it's going too fast. We need to slow it down. But they didn't want to make it go left. And so they slowed it down so that it was only increasing prices by about 3%. And maybe they thought, oh, well, that's, that's a little too slow. So they did a little bit more looser monetary policy. And so it went up to 4% the next year. Okay, D does that make sense? And so yes. disinflation is what you actually see right here at this part of the curve, where we go from 2018, 5% to 2019, 4%. And I'm just making these numbers up. But as that's happening, that's your disinflation. And it's also disinflation. It's also disinflation right here. Because again, we're still on the positive side of zero, right? Prices are still going up until we get to this part. And then for whatever this part is, between whatever month or year this is, and whatever month or year this is, we actually had a negative inflation rate. Now that's not disinflation, that's deflation, a negative inflation rate. So that would be like saying, in 2018, uh, prices rose from, from 2017 to 2018, prices rose about 0%, so they stayed the same. But from 2018 to 2019, prices rose by negative 1%. Well, they didn't actually rise. If we say they rose by negative 1%, they fell by 1%. Deflation is a decrease in average prices. Disinflation is a decrease in the rate of inflation. But inflation is still happening, I think.